Archimedes principle, the primary physics at work here is density. Density is a uh, function of mass and volume, and it can be determined by how much uh, water an object displaces, leading to the famous anecdote about Archimedes getting into a bathtub, pushing water out, and then running down the street naked. For this experiment, we need several pieces of equipment, mainly the scales, or the balance, as a scale is a spring-driven object, a bucket full of water, a stand which to put the scale on, and a pair of calipers. In addition, we need a piece of string, which is one of our magic physics strings, massless, uh, not dense at all, and our two samples. For Archimedes' principle in the density, we're going to be looking at two different samples, one of which is a regular object, which is easy to measure with a pair of calipers, and an irregular object, which isn't quite so easy. We have to find a different way to measure the volume of this one. Now, back to our density formula. Density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. It's quite easy to take the mass of both of these objects. We simply put it on the scale, making, taking care to make sure that it's zeroed out before we put something on the scale. And then we have to look at what their volume is. So, obviously, measuring the volume of the cylinder is easy. Once we have both those numbers, we have our first method for density. For the second and irregular object, we have to measure its volume in completely different ways since we can't use the calipers to do it. In order to do this, we submerge it in the bucket of water. Now, this works in a similar process as ships do. It's called displacement. It turns out that this object will displace the exact amount of volume of water as this object takes up. So what we can do is, once we've taken the actual mass, we can then look at its mass when it's submerged in the water. To do so, we place it on a hook here and suspend it from a hook we had strategically placed on the bottom of the balance. We then place this in the water, taking care that it doesn't touch the sides or bottom of the bucket. And then we adjust the balance until it reads zero. In performing this experiment, there are a couple of good ways and a couple of bad ways. In particular, the hook doesn't have to be completely submerged, but the entire sample should be. Allowing it to rest on the bottom like so is bad. And finally, having it out of the water or partially submerged, bad as is having it resting on the side. Please note the location of the hook on this location here, rather than this arm right here. If you have the hook inside there, it will affect your readings. So the best place to put it is here, that way it has less friction against the balance, as well as affecting the balance in exactly the same way as an object on top.